Hello and welcome back to uh, The Bastard playing Wonders of the Ancient World, the Civilization V scenario on probably a ridiculously low difficulty setting considering I'm pretty fairly good at the game and the scenario doesn't seem to be that hard. Oh well, there's, uh, there's joy to be found in watching Relentless Victory, right? Right? Yeah. So uh, we've got two cities, we've got Ur and Kish. Um, at the moment I don't really feel the need to build any more, really. Um, so we'll we'll probably just crack on as we are. We're building a ziggurat in Ur, and uh, we're building the Colossus in Kish. And I believe uh, we can't build any just yet. We quite shortly we'll be able to build a great library and the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Um, so we'll knock those two out as well. But then these two, these two, we're gonna have to either uh, work up lots more great general points or let someone else take them I guess um, but no one else really seems to be fighting either so <laughs> to actually end the game we may have to go to war just to build those things uh, should have gone for a harder difficulty setting okay but it's fine it's fine it's still it's still fun for, for me anyway for me maybe not for you I don't, I don't know Lord Gilgamesh of Sumer is having fun, and that's the important. That's the important thing. Um, so we've we've done a quite a bit of exploring as well. Here's our scouts wandering around, um, exploring more of this world that we found ourselves in. The interesting thing is, if we do eventually need to go to war, then realistically, it's well, it's gonna be Persia, isn't it? Because they're right here. Um, but on the other hand, they are they're the second. Uh, most powerful Civ at the moment, and they uh, they are a lot bigger than us from the look of it, a lot bigger than us. So we'll um, we'll see how that goes. No, don't be silly. Why would I want to do that? Oh, he's entered the medieval era though. Interesting. Would he? Uh, he can't be that far behind me, which is uh, surprising. I guess if you're building more cities and the like, then uh, it's possible that you may be... Uh, yeah, I can't really expand anymore now anyway. I'd have to expand into the desert, essentially, and... Well, I suppose I could go over here. I suppose I could uh, grab that. Uh, I'll, I might, in fact, just go see with the Sumerian scout what's, uh, what's going on over there. Get a bit better idea of where, where it is and what's happening. Uh, is there any more spaces that I can even build improvements on for Ur? Uh, there is not. Um, I'll still keep that. I'll tell you what, I'll still keep the, uh, the worker hanging about though. It's, it'll be good to have two workers to have one back here just picking up bits and pieces and then send another to a third city if it's needed. Um, yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, our production problems are mostly non existent anymore. Now that we've got that iron and uh, yeah, various things, we're uh, we're pretty much fine. So you can move back. Just uh, move them within the borders. Keep them a bit a uh, bit more safe from lightning attacks. I mean, it's possible that the Persia or someone will. Um... No, I don't think so. The Persia or someone will just declare war on me. To be honest, uh, which could be interesting. Okay, so we built uh, we built a ziggurat there. I'm glad we did build a ziggurat in the end. We've got National College already, haven't we? Yes. Uh, oh, it has manual specialist control. Yeah, let's go for a bit of extra culture in there. And let's have an artist in there. That's fine. Why not? Why not, eh? And you know what? We're actually going to. Uh, well, we'll no, we'll figure out what's going on over here with this scout first before we decide to uh, buy a settler and send them off. And uh, yeah, you can just go to sleep there. That's fine. You can actually go into the city and go to sleep. Kish has grown. What's this border's looking like now? Not too bad. Not too bad. 
Colossus in 13 turns. National Epic in 12 turns there. Currency in 7. Ticking along nicely. I, I think it's safe to say we're going to win this game. We currently have over 3,000 points. Uh, so we're, we're I think we're well ahead even if just one sieve builds all the rest. I think we're... Um, which they won't. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we are ahead of the game. So... That's that, I think. All that's left is to see how it's going to happen. Unless something surprising happens, like Persia declares massive war on me and uh, absolutely ruins me in uh, in short order, which is, isn't outside the realms of possibility. Yeah, it's, it's not going to happen, though. Okay, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a pretty good spot for a city right there. Is there anything slightly better we could have? About here. And that would get me the planes, the elephants. One, two, three. One, two. And it would get me all this resource. It's just these uh, these oasis tiles are fairly tempting. Might be just handy for me to have one there, and then I can actually put one over around here, maybe. Uh, so I probably will put it there because these oases will be very handy for for growing the city. Yeah, that uh, that sounds good. Okay. So what we're actually going to do, um, we can't purchase one of the units stationed in the city. That's fine. We can move out there and go to sleep. Uh, we're actually going to... Can we not upgrade the archer? Surely we've got um, composite bowmen. No, perhaps you do not get composite bowmen in this... Uh... In fact, we don't seem to get many units. Many advanced units I didn't really notice that the first time around. Are you getting musketmen though? No composite bowmen in this game? Did composite bowmen arrive in one of the expansions that this was prior to, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Regardless, we can't upgrade him, so that that's kind of that really. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So let's buy. Well, we need to buy a, u a, a unit to protect them as well. Um, so we need enough money for that. But I think, yeah, we do have enough money for that. So we'll buy a settler first. And then next turn we can buy the phalanx to protect them on the way. Okay, what are we going to go for, guys? What are we going to go for? Well, um. Oh, we, see, our whole thing was going to be economy and science, but now, well. To be honest, I'm tempted to go for honor. Purely because um, the only I think the only thing that will stop us now is if someone goes to war with us. And if we're going to go to war in order to uh, yeah, if we're going to go to war in order to take uh, the other two take the other two wonders then possibly honor might help especially if we, we we're limited with advanced units yeah i think we're going to go for honor oddly which seems like a, a weird choice at this stage but uh fine we might actually send uh, them out cuz i can get more uh, culture for taking out some barbarians so i might as well do that send them down and we're going to buy a phalanx there as well and our borders have grown does that mean we've got somewhere else to work probably not I think that lake will have been taken yet uh, how about here no it went into the sea okay fine odd that you didn't go for the elephant really there we go it's going to be the next one fine Seems odd to be going for honor, but um, I think it kind of makes sense at this stage. It's not exactly like we'll need to be careful about what we're doing. I, I think we're pretty much guaranteed to have won at this stage. Um, yeah, I don't like that archer. Um, we'll actually move back up. 
and wait for our archer get to get down here to help us out. Uh, what? Oh, I accidentally clicked on explore. Well, that's annoying. That's pretty annoying. Yes, everything is ticking along nicely for the most part. You just go on alert there. You go there. You um you fortify. You get all the way over there. It's rather annoying. Do nothing to them. Yeah, it's held me up a little bit, but oh well. It's gonna be quite a trek over there to uh settle that city, but I haven't really got any option because uh kinda of blocked off here. There might be um Okay, okay, I can build the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Uh, I should probably do that before the National Epic, really. Um, National Epic requires um, monoliths in all... Or, yeah. Monoliths? Are they called monoliths? Monuments in all cities. Um, but I believe I picked up the policy that will automatically... Yeah, I'll get an automatic uh, monument in the city when I build it, so I don't need to worry about resetting the uh, National Epic. So I will... Ooh, actually, that's interesting. Total happiness is looking a bit wonky. Um, but I think I shall have to buy a Colosseum before long. Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Each source of uh, marble or stone worked by that city, but neither of my cities have marble or stone. That's a shame. I don't think one of these is, is it? Or is it? Is one of those? That's marble. Ooh. I'm almost tempted to build it here. But, uh... I probably won't build it if that's the case. Someone else will probably grab it before I can, because that city's not going to be building things all that fast uh, first. If I had a great engineer, but that's 62 turns away. No, I better build it here. Better build it here. That's a shame. Oh well. get going next turn. Egypt and Persia have signed a research agreement. Well, good for you guys. Good for you. Get a tasty bit of culture there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I get the mausoleum in 12 turns, Col Colossus in 7. Currency. That's what we're going to go for next. Um, well, something quicker, so definitely not civil service. Uh, moderately tempted by theology. We've got a lot of wine. And uh, we'd get a hell of a lot of culture from it. And the garden's always handy. Yeah, I think we'd go for theology. We'd, we really don't have production problems, otherwise, I'd go for metal casting. But um, I, I don't think that's an issue. And I like extra culture. I do like extra culture. I'll actually fortify at one turn. Just to get back to peak. No, I don't think I'm... 
You guys, I'm totally not letting you in. Sorry. No. It's just not going to happen. The attack and we're like, yeah, let's take it. And that's all earning us kind of uh, great general points as we're going, you know, so. So we're wiping out these barbarians. We might as well earn some easy ones through uh, through barbarians first. Uh, you get back here and heal up, and then we might send these guys just out after uh, after that barbarian encampment if it's still there. with the phalanx but uh, barbarian encampment discovered up there yeah I can head up there and take care of that as long as it hasn't been already taken care of which means I don't really need to check this one out but I probably should anyway yep that is still there okay we'll go take care of this one first it's easy as well and we can probably just send our archer straight over and take care of that Almost tempted to take care of it with the phalanx, actually. Yeah, I might do that. Borders of air have grown. But that's the other lake, I think. Yeah, nothing to work on. Which is fine. Tyre is under attack. I don't particularly care. Sorry. Yep. Let's let you heal up. And we're actually going to just take it with the phalanx because there's really no point in not doing it. Okay, that's interesting. There is a spearman there, but we should still be fine. Return the unit because we just don't need a worker. Although we could do with a worker for over here, I suppose, rather than send someone over here. We'll take it. I'll actually, send the archer over there just in case they're needed. They have to wait for this phalanx before they can head up north anyway. Well, they don't have to, but they will. Hopefully the spearman is going to decide... Oh, no, they are going to go for my phalanx. Okay. That's fine. We can outrun them. In fact, we can just kill them. Where's that other one? Down there. That's not a danger at the moment. Yep. And hope there isn't another barbarian lurking out of sight. That's what you call dangerous play. Boys and girls. But we can afford a bit of danger. We can live on the edge. Can definitely live on the edge. Aha! Why man, he doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus. Yeah, he does. Okay, unit promotion. Again, we're going to go for shock. There's just so much open terrain here, it doesn't make sense to go for uh, for drill. Okay, Ramesses no one providing gold to us. Is that because it's just run out? or Yeah, it's just run out. Okay. Oh, he's a bit more friendly with us than he was. Phalanx is uh, 
Doing all right now. We'll send it up north and uh, go see if this. Oh, they've they've just settled next to it. Right. Well, that's solved that problem. And by problem, I mean opportunity. <laughs> Uh, you badly need to fortify, so you're going to just sit in the middle of the desert and get better. Because that's totally logical. Ooh, Bahrain encampment there, but that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that in short order once we get the city going. There we go, Uruk. It's about to make a bad Uruk high joke there, but uh, I'm just too good for it. Um, okay, what shall we get going? Yeah, we've seen a little bit of a population bomb there, but we can buy a Colosseum in the next uh, in the next turn, and that'll turn out fine. Um, We'll probably badly need some food here, actually, so um, what I will immediately build is just a granary. Yeah, we'll just build a granary straight away. We can always buy so Well, the other phalanx is going to come over here, basically, um, so that's fine. You, uh, you just pop yourself in uh, for now. Scout can just explore. Yeah, we will need extra food there. Um, these oases aren't going to keep us going entirely on their own. So, Especially since we only have one right now. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can just garrison there. Don't want to leave myself completely high and dry. Yeah, let's tap some of that silver in right away. Get us some extra luxury goodness going. Extra happiness. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to buy a Colosseum. It's only plus two happiness, but it's a, it's a start. If we buy, a, if we get a Colosseum in all of them, we can build the uh, Circus Maximus, which is a big, quite a big happiness boost. But that'll do for a start. We're still, um, still unhappy, but uh, which isn't ideal. But we'll get there. You can actually actually start wandering towards Uruk rather than sitting out there. Once this silver is connected, we should be in, in uh, positive happiness, so we should be fine. Take that barbarian incumbent. The mausoleum. Earth is the tomb of heroic men. Okay, and we finished our ziggurat in Kish as well. Um, so I'll tell you what, we'll we'll start building a circus. Um, extra happiness, always good. Uh, we will be in positive happiness once we get that uh, silver, but you can start generating a great artist as well. Monasteries on the go and gardens, which is excellent. 
and we can now build a great library so let's stop what we're doing with that uh, national epic it will never be built and build a great library Uh, metal casting, engineering, or compass. Well, well, actually, we don't we don't need to rush anything now because we've got all the texts that unlock all the wonders. Um, so we can just go for what we want. Harbors are useless to us. Fishing boats are damn near useless. Uh, aqueducts could be handy given our slow growth. Uh, workshops always always handy. Or oh, food f from farms increased by one on tiles with access to fresh water. But that's a little bit longer. There's no real sense driving after that. Um, we're actually going to go for engineering. Yeah, unless someone else gets those uh, great general points before me, I think I'm actually going to completely route this one with uh, building all the wonders which I didn't expect when I started I did not expect uh, okay I can get that ivory now which is nice I might be able to trade it with someone can fortify in there Hey, we're into positive happiness after we've collected that silver up. Excellent. I'm loath though to uh, connect that marble because it's right near to there and they can just literally dash out and steal my worker, so I'm probably just going to connect up this one. Whoa, productions. Drop loads there, has it? That's what we were doing better than that. Yeah, if we go there, we still get a... Yeah, that's okay. I have no idea what algorithm things have when they're exploring. Because they don't seem to go for the nearest unexplored land. Or the biggest area of unexplored land. They seem to wander in random directions. It's rather off-putting. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we can see from here. That's fine. So uh, we'll well, I'll tell you what we'll we will actually go here and build. I think because they're safe while the uh, phalanx is there, more or less. We've got an archer incoming to uh, help take care of that barbarian encampment. Uruk has grown, which is great news. We're still on, uh, we on food focus. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to be very productive in here because of all these uh, silver and the like. Persia and the Hittites have signed a research agreement. Well, you do that. we get extra line of sight for being on a hill there? We'll be able to shoot there next turn. We'll fire as only one we fire out. That's by doing it. Next turn. Construct a quarry. Just want that happiness because we're still on evens for happiness. Uh, we've got a circus on the way and I'm probably going to buy a Colosseum with my next 500 gold. But still. No. -ho. We didn't need the extra range. unit. No. Just a glitch. Okay. So how are we doing? We're going to get a circus this next turn. So we'll get an extra two happiness. That's great. Um, the amount of money we weren't, we're making is slipping down, but uh, that's fine, really, at this stage. Uh, once we get the Great Library and National Epic here, we'll start working on markets and such like. So that'll be good. should fill fill a bit of a money hole money hole so what is up there 
Is that an active barbarian encampment? And if so, can I send someone to kill it? Probably. <sighs> what do I want? Well, I'm not going to really be attacking cities, probably. If I'll probably be building catapults for that. Um, I might just go for accuracy too, to be honest. There's so much flatland that it's, uh, it's just really helpful. Bit of extra culture. Okay, I finished the circus there. What should I go about buying now? Um, well, what I could do actually is build, uh, just straight up build. Um, I'll tell you what, I might build a lighthouse there. That might be handy for some extra, extra footage. I was tempted to build a coliseum, and then I can buy a coliseum here. And then, um, once that's built, I can build a Circus Maximus, but, uh, which I actually maybe should do, because my happiness is constantly on the verge. Uh, I'll definitely put a Colosseum in. But I think we can... Can we wait? No, let's build a Colosseum first. Can you reach there, because of extra line of sight? Nope. Okay, that's fine. We'll just move you there. Borders of air have grown again. Let's uh, get an extra farm right there. So where grew in a? Okay, to there. That's worth popping a mine down on. No. No. We'll probably wait for the uh, the great library to build, and then uh, might uh, call a stop to the episode. Borders of Gish have grown. Lots of border growings. Yeah, we can probably rampage him with our phalanx now. go. Construct a mine. Quite a while till our next uh, great people. Presumably that's a bit slowed by the scenario as well in the same way that growth and uh, research are. Borders of Uruk have grown. Yes, extra silver. Kish loves the king because we got some marble. Barbarian coming discovered. Up there. Right, let's go and get that one next. we doing on a oh, blimey we have to get loads more great general points that's uh, a bit confounding our worker, we don't want to do anything there, we want to just construct a mine. Choose production. Okay, so we've uh... <laughs> look, that just doesn't know where to go. Um... Okay, so we've built our granary, so what else could be useful here? Um... Stone works could be quite handy, just it's quite cheap and cheerful. Bit of extra happiness, bit of extra production. Yeah, I think we can get our stone works in. Definitely. And you know what? We're going to buy. Uh, we're going to buy a coliseum here, and then when we will build that coliseum there, and then we can start building the circus, circus maximus. Uh, we'll just move there for now.
Should just probably settle something else somewhere around here. Looks uh, looks quite nice. Maybe there. There we go. Great library. Libraries are the shrine where all the relics of the ancient saints, full of true virtue, and that without delusion or imposture, are preserved and reposed. Oh yeah. Instrumental on the. Okay, so we got uh, a bit of engineering there. We'll uh, we'll end this turn and then we'll. Uh... Of course, we can't. Need to be closer, man. Bit of damage. And just waltz straight in. Shouldn't be a problem. Phalanx on Archer. Just one empty there? With no Barbarian even in it? Interesting. Oh, it's gone. That makes more sense. Let's choose our free tech. Uh, what can we get? Well, let's get the one that will take us the most time. So, civil service. Definitely. Yeah. Or machinery will actually. Machinery is far more. A couple of turns more. Let's take machinery. Before we even get metal casting, which seems a bit weird. The press so we can upgrade to crossbowmen now. The mind of man. That's good. Moral and so what research we're going to line up next? Well, metal casting seems like a good choice. Uh, being as we need to build lots of workshops for the ironworks. Worked man's gems. All the way up there. Seems unlikely that we'll make it. Realistically, a bit, uh, a bit ridiculous. Yeah, this is, um, well, obviously this is going very well, being as I'm on... Five and a half thousand points. Uh, I, yeah, I definitely don't think anyone can catch me now unless they somehow wipe me out, uh, which probably is not going to happen. Um, and it's, it is quite interesting being in the same way. Yeah, I, I've now built everything apart from the military one, so I really need to earn more great general points so I can start to build them because it doesn't look like anyone else is going to do it. Um, and that involves a war, really, so that might be quite interesting. We, uh, we might pick someone to go to war to, presumably Persia here. Um, and that will come with its own set of uh, problems, so that could be quite interesting, actually. Quite interesting as we switch completely from a research slash money sieve to one that's rolling over the Persian Empire with our military machine. So uh, we'll probably kick that off next time, and uh, I'll see you then. Bye!